Hello and welcome to another episode of the Able Life 9 Quick Tips. This time I have a tip for you, for all of you who like working with drum racks, which is probably going to be a whole lot of you. It's another shortcut and this time just one key and that's the D on your computer keyboard. But that only works if the computer MIDI keyboard here, this isn't turned on. So if this is on, it won't work because then the D will play the note E. Okay, so make sure that's off if you use it, if you want to use it. Otherwise, if you use the your computer keyboard as a MIDI controller most of the time, maybe that's not the right thing for you because you're going to have to switch back and forth and that probably will get annoying. But if you have a MIDI controller that you work with, with push or whatever really, um, then this can be really helpful. So, and when you press D, you can switch between the drum rack itself and the last selected pad. So right now, uh, the pad here is selected. We can see that with a blue hand. And now if I press D, you see it it uh, switches over to the drum rack itself. So now I could, you know, just make changes on push, for example, for the drum rack itself, for the macros. And then I could simply switch back to the pad and continue adjusting the parameters there. So yeah, that can be quite helpful if you're working a lot with drum racks and well, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.